So over the weekend, I went to an estate sale and I actually bought some things, guys. If you follow my channel at all, you know that I'm not a big fan of estate sales, at least in my area. They seem out of touch with reality on what things are selling for. But this weekend, I actually went to an estate sale that started at nine o'clock and I got super lucky that I actually showed up at 8.57 just in time to walk in the door and lo and behold this estate sale was pretty awesome everything in there said two dollars unless otherwise marked i went into this first room and there were a lot of bags but they didn't seem really that interesting but what i really wanted was what this guy had in the corner which is all those baseball caps but he was kind of monopolizing the table, so I didn't think I'd really have a chance. So I looked around at the collectibles, but I'm not super interested in that. But look at this guy about to walk in the room. Ugh, I missed all the cards. I don't know if this is their normal sale or just this is what their one customer wanted them to do, but there were a lot of deals to be had. In this room, there were a lot of linens, some clothes, and then some artwork. I did look around and then saw something I thought was pretty interesting over here in the corner and that's these hats. This one is in an old Sears Roebuck box and I just thought it was too cool not to pick up, right? It has paper inside of it. It looks like it, it says styled by Carol Lee, definitely vintage. Look at the sparklies on that, but in really good condition. So I picked that up for $2. There was another hat in a hat box. Also really neat. Look at that with the fancy feathers on the back. And this one is from Mr. High's Classic. It's definitely a classic look and I could see women back in the 50s wearing this to church or out to dinner. Very fancy. So I kept looking around the room, wasn't seeing too much of anything else, but then I noticed this statue over here and I needed to check him out. Look at that. He is like an ebony figure. I think he's African. I think you can put incense in there. What do you think? Like he, <laughs> he's cool. But here is his tag on the bottom. I guess he was a hundred dollars. I don't know, but he is solid, super heavy, and for $2, I just could not leave him behind. So then I finished out this room, lots of trinkets and some clothing, blankets and things, but honestly, I didn't see any that really stood out, and I have a lot of inventory right now, so I wasn't too worried about picking that up. I did think about picking up these little doilies and stuff, but I found out after the fact that they were $2 each, not $2 for the basket, and I thought, eh, that's a little too much for me, and maybe it's a good deal, but I did pass on them. I walk right through the kitchen like it didn't even exist, <laughs> and down into this other little side room to get to my favorite, which is always the garage. I always find the best stuff in there, and usually decorations and stuff, which are my favorite. So immediately I see this guy, you know I love gnomes, and this guy was there and I said, oh yeah, he has to come home with me. I think I'm gonna have to try his batteries, but it looks like he does little waves. <laughs> so he may not end up on eBay at all. He may end up in my yard or on my front door. I'm not sure yet, but too cute. So I keep looking around in the garage and then I see two things, this merry-go-round and then an animated plush. It is from 2008. He's reading Twas the Nice Before Christmas with this cute little teddy bear right here. I didn't think that was too bad of a pickup for $2. And then I saw this guys, which is so awesome. It's a Mr. Christmas merry-go-round. It was in really nice condition. But this is one of the items that they did have marked up to $10. And I was pretty apprehensive about getting it. I think it can be battery operated, but it has an AC adapter that I didn't see with it. So I was about to put it back down, but I made one more swing around the garage. And look what I found, the box for it. They had taken it out of the box to put the price on, but look, it even has the AC adapter, has its original instructions, and even, 
this little thing to protect the top. Look at that. All completely ready to go. So for $10, I'm super happy with this. Something that really surprised me was this Sears propane stove. It's actually yellow and orange. It's in there. It looks in great condition. And I expected this to be one of the items that they had marked up, but surprisingly, it wasn't. It was only $2. So I found a few items at that estate sale, which was super fun. I love that I actually found some things that were gonna be good sellers and just interesting items that weren't a fortune. So I'm gonna have to give estate sales a try again next week. Hmm, this could become a habit. We'll see you next time.